Pipex, wait, I don't know where this. Hi Pixies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi if you haven't been here before. Thank you for all the love on my channel recently. It's been amazing. For real, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for all your support, whether you are new here or you've been here for a while. I'm so appreciative of you and just know I'm, this is me sending you my love and positivity. So today we are going to be um, trimming my curly hair. I haven't gotten a haircut in probably like a year. I've been, but before you freak out, I have trimmed my hair here and there on my own. And I was going to get it cut by an actual stylist again. But now that we're in quarantine, I cannot do that. But I'm in need of a cut. As you can see, I have layers and the bottom layers are just a lot longer than everything else and they just definitely need a trim and everything just kinda needs a trim. Disclaimer, I am not a hairdresser or professional. This is not a tutorial. I'm just, you know, giving you some tips that, you know, work for me, but I'm not a professional. Please don't come for me in the comment section. Right, Mondo, I'm looking right at you. The beauty of curly hair is that if you mess up a little, and I mean just a little, not like something huge, no one's really gonna be able to tell because it's not like straight hair. You can't can't see the mistakes as easily. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage. I'm gonna I'm cut gonna my, cut hair, my now. hair now. First tip is to actually use hair cutting scissors, not any other type. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hair in a scrunchie. So this is how I sleep at night. I always put my hair up on the very top of my head. I'm using a scrunchie so I don't ruin my hair. And you can just see that like there are some pieces that are just so much longer than everything else, like these ones. Again, I have absolutely no method. I'm just gonna go and like trim a couple of these. I don't know, wish me luck. I'm just gonna trim it like a very little bit, like probably about an inch. This could go very wrong. I've been taking such good care of my hair this past year. I used to like actually get dead ends. Um, if you guys haven't watched my curly hair journey video, you totally should. I talk about how I used to get like super terrible dead ends because I was straightening my hair all the time and my hair was just so damaged. Um, I don't really get dead ends anymore. Like even right now when I haven't had a, my hair trimmed in a really long time, I can look and I don't see any I don't see any dead ends. And that's just because of how much better I've been taking care of my hair. But I do just want to, you know, just keep it really healthy and just make sure the ends are as healthy as possible. So I'm just gonna give it a very, very small trim. The ends just feel so much softer, like when you trim them. Looks a little bit more even. Okay, I'm gonna take this down. Okay, so I feel like that's off to a good start. Now I'm just gonna go, especially for these bottom layers, and just kind of trim them up just a little bit just because I feel like it's a little bit or a little they're getting a little long I'm growing my hair out so I'm not gonna try to cut anything too much especially since I don't have much damage at all but if you have damage chop your hair just chop it a couple people left comments that if I want more volume on top I need shorter layers on top so I'm gonna kind of play with that now this is where stuff could go wrong also I'm kind of playing with the idea of giving myself bangs again so I like to just cut the pieces near my face shorter just to frame it I'm gonna cut some shorter pieces around my hair Since my hair is also like, the curls are big, they chunk together like this a lot, which can end up looking a little bit heavy. So like with this one, I'm actually gonna very gently unravel her and cut some of it a little bit shorter. Take some of that and cut some of it even shorter. And as you can see, like I feel like it just looks a lot bouncier already. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and kind of chop this into a bang. I just want it to be long enough so that I don't have to have it as a bang. I 
gonna cut some back here as well. This is a very trusting activity. So basically, I don't know if you can see my method, but I just find pieces. And if they're like this one, it's already a layer. So I'm just gonna, instead of like creating a brand new layer, I'm just gonna cut it a little bit shorter. I'm also just looking for areas that look kind of heavy, like right here, and just splitting those curls up a little bit to create more variety in the curls. And I like this type of bang because it's not too, like it could, I could wear it like this or I can wear it like bangs, but I don't have to like commit. Not a lady of commitment, except when it comes to my boyfriend. If you're gonna cut your hair at home, I think you should cut it dry just because you can actually tell what you're doing. The problem cutting curly hair wet is that it's gonna bounce up. So you don't really know what it's gonna look like. So if you're not a professional, I would not cut your curly hair wet. I'm pretty satisfied with this. It's just bouncier. Okay, I'm just shaking my hair out now. This is the moment of truth to see if I like this. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can work with this. I can work with this. Mmm. Now that it's all fluffed out and I can see what it's going to look like in public, I think the issue is the back pieces. I need a couple more of them. This is working for me right here and I need more of that. That, my friends, is as good as I think we're gonna get. But I think it's really cute. As you can see, it's just like more volume and it's just cute. It's like fun. If you guys wanna go ahead and cut your own hair at home, you should just freaking do it. Because why the heck not? We're in quarantine, no one's gonna see you anyway if we mess up. And if you have curly hair, it's hard to mess up. If you don't like it, please just be nice to me and don't tell me that because I don't really want to know. Uh, I'm fragile. Hopefully this wasn't a mistake. I think it's pretty cute. It's probably going to take some getting used to, but I like it. I think it adds some volume. It's cute. Okay. All right. I love you so much, Pixies. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you're doing to your hair this quarantine and anything else. I love talking to you guys. So yeah, I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video.